Well, personally, I was with the very few who objected to the postponement, further postponement of the Barangay elections, because this would trivialize the electoral process and would negate the sovereign will to install on a periodic and anticipated basis uh, village officials. And I also disagree with using the uh, bloody campaign against the drug menace as a reason for postponing the barangay elections. The barangay officials who may be uh, connected with the drug problem should be prosecuted. And once prosecuted and found guilty, then uh, they should be dismissed or suspended. But uh, not to affect the entire uh, uh, officials of uh, the barangay and SK. But having said that, that's no water under the bridge, Mr. Chairman, because we have an all-party caucus which decided to postpone the barangay elections to May 2018 and uh, to abide with the holdover provisions and that no OIC should be appointed. And I think this uh, committee should be able to implement that uh, uh, all-party caucus decision. And uh, just, I just would like to ask uh, uh, Commissioner uh, Art Lim, to what extent has the COMELEC already prepared for the barangay elections? Uh, supposed to be in uh, during the fourth Monday of October this year, and how much budgetary outlay had been spent? Commissioner I, Lim is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We started printing the ballots last uh, August 9, and uh, the procurement for uh, certain forms and equipment is in progress. We are acting as though the elections will not be postponed. Because unless there is a law in our hands postponing the election, the preparations will have to go on its normal course. Regarding the budget, uh, Your Honor, may I, or how much has been expended thus far, may I request our finance uh, director to answer the question of the Honorable Congressman Lagman. Um, Director Castillon is recognized. Hi, Chairman on co and committee members, good afternoon. As of, um, as of today, um, we have incurred obligations of 197,768,305. And um, because of the activities, the ongoing activities, um, we also earmark expenses of 1.3 billion. So the um, total appropriations for SK, SKR, SKR, and SKBE of 7.3 Four minus the actual obligation and the earmark expenses, the balance would be six billion. Mr. Chairman, um, Congressman Lagman, may we know how much had been obligated? The actual obligation, um, Your Honor, is one hundred ninety-seven million seven hundred sixty-eight. Of this amount of 107, 107 million, how much has been paid? Um, the 197 million, um, Your Honor, was uh, spent um, in 2016. In other words, obligated and, and paid. And paid, okay. yes, Your Honor. Of this uh, amount obligated and paid, how much can still be used for future exercises and how much has been profited to waste? Um, the 197 million um, is 
was spent uh, for personal services. So, hindi na po yun, ano? And then, the traveling expenses, some supplies and materials expenses of 29 million. Opo. 